So Andrew, hmm? yeah. the Newsboys must be making a new CD because they just came out with a new movie. <laughs> Welcome to the dialogue where movies are more than mindless entertainment. I'm Derek, this is Andrew. Yo. And today we're removing, review, <laughs> removing, uh, we're, we're reviewing the movie God's Not Dead 2. Ooh. This is a sequel to God's Not Dead, obviously. Uh, the right. first movie, it was a student in a classroom who was having issues with his teacher mm -hmm. and God was kind of put on trial in the classroom. In this movie, it's kind of the reversal, and you have a teacher who's now being put on trial in a courtroom. So we're just making this thing larger and larger. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that the next movie oh, yeah. will be like Supreme Court or something like that. Possibly. Oh, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, or they, like the movies are expanding. <laughs> you know? right. So you have this right. woman who's a teacher who basically talked about Jesus in the, in the classroom. The, state, the school board doesn't like that. Goes to court. Right, right, right. We actually, I, this is the first court room drama I think I've seen this year. And I like that. I like watched a few I like good men, so okay. <laughs> I, <Easily. laughs> um, I like the courtroom drama. Okay? And yeah. uh, they did a, they did a lot of good stuff there. There was one thing that they did that I was actually getting really excited about. They they okay, so in normal um, fashion like God's not dead, I mm -hmm. felt like it's the same kind of thing. There was a lot of different people that we kind of were introduced at the very beginning and these lives are gonna intersect and stuff like that. They yeah. don't. They don't do that too well. Like they don't necessarily intersect the lives really well. Because um, one of the guys was going to be like on the jury of this, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I don't know if you felt the same way, but I was like, yeah, this is almost like you get to see like point of view of this jury member go through while you're seeing the point of view of the the prosecuted, you know, at the same time. That but didn't happen. <laughs> they didn't. I don't want to spoil anything, but it didn't. That didn't pan out quite the way I was hoping it would. Mm -hmm. uh, but the courtroom drama, yes, it's great to see Christians making films. I love that. Okay, that's huge. That's a big thing. Um, I will say on the negative side that there was definitely some villainization of the bad guys, which would be like the atheists in this movie. So it was, it was kind of like Jeremy Johns would say. I've heard him say it's a propaganda piece. I would actually agree a lot with what with that. I would I would agree a lot. The Christians are a little bit too good. Mm -hmm. They're like perfect. Right. And the guys they're up against are seen as people that are not nice to each other and that sort of thing, and you, you don't like them. Yeah. So it kind of plays on emotions in a bad way. Right. Uh, right, right. And there's also another thing for a Christian, I would say, uh, the way that they portray faith, I kind of have a problem with. And I hope we can talk about this in the in-depth discussion. Yes. Okay, so we're going to do that in the in-depth discussion. Don't go away. That'll be on Wednesday. That mm -hmm. rhymed. Don't go away. It'll, It'll be, be on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. That was my thoughts. Yeah, I've got uh, a lot of similar thoughts. Uh, there are things that I do like about the movie. Um, coming from a Christian perspective, Christian upbringing, there are things that I like about the movie. Mm -hmm. I like seeing Christians make movies. You know, I, I want this to happen. <clears throat> I am going to be very critical, though, especially because I'm a Christian, and I want to see good Christian films mm -hmm. put out there. Unfortunately, this movie falls very low for me. Now, if a Christian goes and watches this movie, they'll probably be like, Derek, why did you think that this movie was not that great? And I'm going to be 100% honest with you in yeah, saying that, number one, the acting is not that great. Number two, the characters are not that great. Yeah, number White. three, the story is not that great. I'm just being honest with you. It could have been done a lot better. Felt like the story was kind of going all over the place. People didn't get, I feel like, enough uh, justification for their characters or their motives or their reasoning other than, mm -hmm. I'm not a Christian and I hate God. Okay, well, apparently you're not a Christian, you hate it's, God. That did happen. A, that did happen. Yeah, and it's just like, <clears throat> basically people are just painted mm -hmm. in one color. It's a lot of black and whites in the movie. There is no gray areas and... Mm -hmm. You know, maybe that works for a movie, but in my mind, that's not realistic, and so it really pulls me out of the whole situation, and I feel like it gives a bad taste uh, in non-Christians' mouths of what Christianity is actually all about. I think the movie, I think the movie, if it's targeted towards a Christian audience, might do well because a lot of Christians mm. will just sit there and go, right. "Amen." 
And that's fine if you're one of those people, but I'm telling you right now, if you take your non-Christian friend to see this movie, I'm pretty sure they're going to be feeling pretty uncomfortable, and they're probably not going to listen to anything that the movie has to say. Right. It, a lot of that depends on, you know, the personal situation there, which you got to you gotta feel up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like what you had to say. I like what you had to say. So I'm going to actually rate this as a 6. I'm going to rate this as a 6. 6 okay. out of 10 stars. Yeah, I'm going to go lower. For myself. I'm going to go... I was really debating between a five and a four. Yeah. And I'm gonna go a four. Oh. I'm gonna hit it with a four. Mm. Just you just smacked it. Smacked it with a four. Yeah, I'll go into more uh, That's right. about that in the in-depth discussion. I'm yeah. really looking forward to that. <laughs> just I'm look, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to talking with you too, Derek, on this in-depth discussion. So Alright, like this video if you like it, don't like it, or dislike it if you don't like it, or, <laughs> no, if you don't like it or dislike it, don't do anything with the likes. But if you did dislike it, you just can just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> or comment and tell us what you thought. Yeah, comment please. Like actually, you know, if, whatever your faith is, I, I would actually like to hear things from people that were Christians that saw this film, and people that weren't, that watch us on YouTube. Or, Let us know what you or think. Or people from a different faith. Right. Anybody, anybody, anything, anybody, and everybody. So comment, please. Let us know. We're, we read our, your comments, our comments, and we try to reply to those. Uh, also, subscribe to our channel. We come out with new film, new videos every week. Yeah, every week. Sometimes every week. twice a week. Yeah. All right. So Usually we, twice a week. Twice a week. So do that. And as always, join us next time on the dialogue.